Bam Squad, and welcome back to Raina Baby's channel. And today we are doing another review on the oh, Born This Way Foundation and Warm Nude. And I have this beautiful bottle right here. And I told y'all in my last video I wanted to go ahead. I already did my eyes. I did a purple smoky eye. Very simple. So if y'all want to know how I got this look, I'll leave a picture too once I'm done the makeup so y'all can see. And um, that there's no flashback. I have no foundation on right now. Just my moisturizer. My baby... Uh, the baby skin primer by Maybelline and um, Smashbox primer. Other than that, I have nothing else on. And I wanted to give this a second go and see if it's worth the hype or if I need to get another color. That's my main concern because this concealer, concealer, this foundation is a really good foundation. So. I wanted to try it out again, see if it's my color, see if I can make it work. If not, you will be coming with me to the Ulta store to get another color, if not another foundation, and maybe a palette. I'm not quite sure yet, but if you are new to this channel or relatively new, make sure you subscribe down below and also hit the bell not once but twice to join the fam squad and have your notifications turned on so anytime I upload a video, do reviews, challenges, shout outs, which I have a shout out today to a new subscriber and keep watching and I will do the shout out at the end of the video. But I really just wanted to kind of give this one a second chance and see if I can make it work because I really 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 want to keep it and if anything what's the worst thing I can do just go get another color and if they don't have my shade then I'll get another foundation um but I love Too Faced Too Faced is besides Morphe Too Faced I literally love their formulas, their palettes, their whole peach, sweet peach, um, collection. I love it. Um, and also, um, the chocolate palettes, and that's one of the, one of the palettes that I wanted to pick up. Um, and I also had reached out to them about, um, possibly being a part of their brand and sending PR packages to do reviews and things of that nature, just like I did with Morphe. So I actually wrote them um, because they didn't have like an email or anything, um, unlike the Morphe. So I'm waiting for a response and I will let y'all know. So how about we get into this video? I'm super excited. I really hope this works out. It has amazing ingredients in it, like I've told y'all before, and I just felt like last time it was too yellow, but I don't know. I don't know, really. I mean, it does have a little bit of a yellow undertone, but then it oxidizes down and warms up a little bit, so it's really hard to tell. So I wanted to try it, do a review. It is currently... 9.30 in the morning, so I will be popping in and out to let y'all know about this, and without further ado, make sure you subscribe, and also give this video a thumbs up, and have your notifications turned on, and I will do my shout out of the day at the end of the video, so make sure you keep on watching, and let's jump into this little review tutorial. Okay guys, so... I already had prepped my skin and everything. I did my eyebrows. I did my eyes. And I did like a purple um, 
crease and then a black uh, outer corner with a little bit of gold and peach um, on the lid. And then my natural lashes, like I said, I'm going natural for a little bit. And my Maybelline Precise Eyeliner, I'm in love with that stuff. And it's the only eyeliner that I have used in years. Um, besides, I think there was another one, I forgot the name. If I find it, I'll leave it in the link below or I'll show it to y'all in another video. But this time, instead of using a brush, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender. And what I'm going to do is use my Urban Decay All Nighter just to kind of set, you know, my face. Um, I'm going to spritz this and kind of spritz my face a little bit. And hopefully it'll give it a little bit of justice. And I'll also set it again after I put the prime, I mean, uh, the foundation on to see if that, you know. I'm trying to really make this work, guys. I really am. But um, if all else fails, we're leaving out to Houston. So on the way back, if I have to, I will go and get another one. Definitely. For sure. So. I'm just going to give myself a little spritz. And then spritz the beauty sponge. And make sure all that kind of dries up. Okay, so it's supposed to be a full coverage. And I think last time I talked about it being like a light to full like it's a full but I feel like it's a buildable full it's not a complete full coverage so that was my little issue but I'm gonna go ahead and do like two and a half pumps and I don't like my applicator being dirty okay so Let's go in. Okay. Oh, man. I really just hope this works. Like, when you see it on my face, it looks like it would match. But in person, I really see the... Whoa. The, um... Yellow in it. So... We're just going to go ahead and go in. And it is hot outside, so definitely believe your girl is going to be setting her forehead. For some reason, I feel like I'm getting played right now. Because last time, it did not look like this. <laughs> when it did not look like it matched me. But I do still see, you know, the little bit of the yellow. And we're just going to bring it down my neck. And blend it down. Because if that yellow does end up saying hi... I don't want my face to be different than my neck, for sure. But, I mean, the formula is beautiful. Like, it's blending in amazingly. Like, freaking butter. I'll make sure. And maybe it's because I'm using the Beauty Blender instead of the brush. Because the Beauty Blender is actually giving this a lot of justice. Bringing it down the neck. Of course, you gotta do your ears, girls, guys. You gotta, you guys, do your ears. So, do my neck. I 
Okay, why does it feel like it is like actually working? Maybe it is. I mean, brushes do give different applications than beauty blenders do. So, maybe that was, like I said, that's why I wanted to give this another review, another chance. Because the formula is amazing. I love the fact that it has the coconut water and what else did it say? Coconut water, the alpine rose, and the hyaluronic acid. So, but look at how it is matching my skin tone. Compared to when I reviewed it last time, the yellow was just so overtaking. Like, I was like, oh god, no. Please don't do this to me. But with this beauty blender, it is like making it look flawless. Like, look at my skin, guys. It's not caking. It's not going into my fine lines. Like, you can't even see the yellow undertone. Like, I feel like it's already starting to oxidize. But trust me, your girl's going to be going outside. I'm going to add a little bit more to my forehead. Because I do have, like, that birthmark blemish thing. And you ain't cool. You ne it needs to go away. Uh, and it's not even a birthmark. Me and Alex, when we were younger, got into an ice fight. I think every couple's done that. <laughs> and I got hit straight in the forehead with the ice and started bleeding. He had pretty good aim. <laughs> And I never really noticed it until I started doing makeup and really paying attention to my face and doing reviews on makeup. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, I don't understand. Okay, guys. Okay, so... This beauty blender is really giving this justice. Like, it just made it from like a 7 to almost a 10. Like, maybe I should have used the beauty blender in the first place. You think? Like, come on, Miranda. I mean, some of my foundations, the brush just goes beautifully but I've always used I just started recently using you know the brush but I mean the beauty blender is like making this like damn girl I'm just planning you know a little bit of a second coat Especially when I want nose, and I am going to set my nose too because I feel like I don't have oily skin, but just it being so hot in Houston area, I really have to set myself because, I mean, uh, it, it, ugh. I just sweat so bad, so I definitely don't want the heat to get the better of my, but look, I mean, everything looks like it is literally blended in, in matches, and it looks like freaking my skin, but better, and when I'm looking in the mirror, it's not caking up. Especially around my nose area. 
or in my fine lines. Um, but I am going to set my forehead because I do have lines there that just sometimes don't go away. But you know what? What can you girl do? What can I do? So I'm going to take um, my air spun and just gently go over, um, you know, my forehead area. Because we want this bad boy to not crease up or anything like that. And I am going to take it down. I'm not going to bake. I'm just, you know, applying it. Cause like I said, I don't have oily skin, so I'm just setting it to where if I start sweating, I don't look like a hot mess. And then I'm going to do my nose and on the sides and under my eyes. I love the way that this air spun smells. It smells so good, guys. Okay, so those are the main spots that I sweat. So, hopefully this gives us some justice. And it will keep our foundation you know, popping. So, I am going to just kind of bronze up my face. I'm going to use my SS023 Jumbo Kabuki Fan and use two little products. This is by Pure, the Mineral Girl glow bronzing powder and then the master highlight by face studio but I like to use it as a bronzer too and then it also kind of gives you like a blush effect so that's what we're gonna do I don't want like a harsh, you know, contour. I want it to be looking natural. And I know, guys, y'all probably like, why have you been keeping your hair up, like, all the time? Like I said, I'm from Houston area, and it is hot, and I ain't got time to be having my hair down. So, like, this is, like, my natural hair out of the shower, and better believe I'll straighten my bangs and make it look cute in the front, but I'm throwing my hair up because it is too dang hot to be having my hair down. Plus, it is finally growing, guys. Like, I'm so excited. It is growing. 
it was from here and it has grown at least like I can't even tell right now because it's like curly and stuff but guys I'm just so happy I have missed my long hair and I have showed y'all a picture I love this, you know, Mineral Glow Bronzing by Pure. Like, it is so beautiful. And can we say this Kabuki fan, like, really gets them high points? Can we just give it props for a second? <laughs> She's a lot that jawline. And sometimes I like to just like, you know, buff it down just a little bit. Okay. Now we are, I'm putting the kabuki up, and I like to go in with this. Actually, no, that is so not the one. This brush right here, and I'll take this, and you see how it has like the bronzies and the white, and then like the pinks, and it just makes a beautiful bronze, and then like a blush type deal, like... I just love it. And I go like right above where I contoured. Because it does, the pink does kind of overpower the whole, you know, palette. So, and then I'll just kind of like blend it in together. It's such a beautiful little palette, guys. Like, if y'all want something that is bronzy, gives you a glow, plus a little blush, definitely get the Master Highlight by Maybelline. They have different, I think they have like two different, um, little I can't even think of it uh, I, want, I don't want to say palette but compacts they have two you know two more so everything so far is blending in really good with this um, foundation so I'm really giving it a second chance guys and I'm going to be doing a whole review popping in checking in letting y'all know I'm gonna have a picture posted and when I go outside and also in a different lighting so y'all can see what it looks like now I'm taking my Favorite by Ofra, and this is the Rodeo Drive, and I definitely in desperate need of a new one. And then I'm just taking my little sparkly highlighter L36, like, I love this freaking highlight.
it's so blinding. Like, look at that. For all that, it is like super blinding. Like, I love it so much. You can never have too much highlight. I'm just saying. And then sometimes I'll just take the excess and then go over my little forehead. This highlight is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ofra did the damn thing. And then I'm going to apply it to my nose. so beautiful. And then my cupid's bow. And then a little bit on my chin. <clears throat> and well, bam, we are done, guys. So, I mean, look how beautiful everything just blended into the foundation. And like, you can't even tell or see the freaking. I can't even. I guess everything put together, you can't even see the. Um, yellow undertone yeah i'm about to like so straighten this um so but we're gonna do check in take pictures all that good stuff and you know give it a second chance like at this color right here it looks so beautiful well now i'm turning white again And then for lips, I think I'm going to go bold. So we are going to take, come on out, sweetheart. This is the 08 Roller. And this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And let's just go bold today. Why not, right? It's a beautiful berry color, which I love. So beautiful. I just love it. And the applicator really helps you define
we're going. Okay, so this is the final look. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten whatever this is. Take some pictures and then pop in with you guys and do like a little review and see how it's doing. And also go out in the sunlight and do different lighting and so y'all can really see the full true colors. So I'll be right back. Hey fam squad, so I'm outside, different lighting, and this foundation literally looks so good. And look at my eyes, like, now y'all can see the true colors, and the foundation does not even look bad. Like, even when I'm in the sun, the highlight. But it looks really good, guys. I am not disappointed yet. It is getting a little hot, so I am starting to sweat a little bit. But nothing is like... I just hate these lines right here. Like, I wish they would go away. I've been using my creams and everything. And I used to have more lines, so I'm not going to complain because my lines have went down a lot. But it is so annoying. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. So, I just wanted to come outside and show y'all what it looks like in the sun and outside and in different lighting. I also took a picture and I'll put the picture right here on the side of me from when I took it inside in the different lighting. But I'm about to go to the store and then run a couple of errands. So I will be popping back in to update y'all on the foundation. But so far guys, like, it's looking really good. Like my makeup looks on today it really does so make sure if you're liking this video so far to give it a thumbs up guys and make sure you subscribe and join the fam squad and I will see y'all soon He forgot his wallet, so we brought it up here. Look, you just isn't transferred. Oh, yeah. While I'm up here, I'm going to get my driver's license from that place. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get that. I want to do an update on my foundation. That's hot today. The foundation is actually looking pretty good. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, and actually that's a good color. Very good color. You don't think I need to change that? I thought it had too much yellow in it. No, that's a good color. That matches really good. Yes. The first time I used it, it had a yellow undertone and I didn't like it. So that's why I'm doing the second review before I traded it out. So. It can't, man. I would keep it. It's a very good color. It better be for $42. Yep. But so far, there's no caking on my nose, no creasing. I did set my forehead, so <laughs> it did do a good job on my forehead so far. And then y'all can see the purple in my eyeshadow. 
you give me a chill, I'm gonna play catch you. Pop it now. Then I'll turn around. We'll pop one of them warm with that same way. So, y'all finally get to see you. So, I'll be making money. Go now. Hopefully, one of these other assholes pull me in real quick. Yeah. So, I'll. 12, 15, 12, 20. That's good, man. At least I'll be making money. I'll be making money. This way I don't I miss a lick, dude. Contour. Yeah, because, man, you need it every last bit. Man. And it's oh, yeah. hard out here. not went into my car lines. Yeah, and I man. think that's because <laughs> I'm Everybody thinks it's nice and easy. And I'm more than it's not. Which I learned my lesson from my last video. If y'all miss it, I'm going to post it at the end of this video, yeah, we're, guys. We're building valves. But I just wanted you to check work in. Uh, I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Who yet. I was with. And Bye, yo. I will see y'all on my next little pop-up. We're, we're about to grub, y'all. We're about to grub. I'm hungry. Really hungry. So I will check in with y'all in a couple of more hours. Hey fam squad, so, um, update, I cut my hair, I'm still keeping the back long, but I just want to show y'all that I cut my hair, so, if y'all want y'all's haircut, holla at you girl, but my bangs were like getting way too long, so I had to cut them and then even it out and whatnot, but um, Anywho, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it is later. I talked to y'all around 12, and my makeup still looks freaking, I got hair all up my face. Um, my makeup still looks freaking fabulous, guys. Like, and if hubby approved it, you know it's a guarantee because he'll tell me what foundation are you wearing it looks weird on you it shows your lines it makes you look old but he actually liked this foundation so i say the second review went way better than the first one um i definitely will give this a nine possibly a 10 out of 10 um I mean, it's flawless still, and so I did the review at 12, and it's already about 7, 7.30 at night, and um, we're about to go get Al and Alex, AJ from his um, aunt's house, and then I'm going to do a night routine, because I got this, I've had this for a while, guys. But I haven't tried it, and I was like, I kind of want to try it out. Excuse my, I need to work out. I haven't been able to work out since, oh, I can't even flex, my arm hurts, since um, I had surgery. Oh, thank God I shaved my armpits. <laughs> um, so I haven't been able to work out since I had surgery. Um, so, like, I'm still sore. And, like, even trying to, like, like, this side, I can do it. Y'all see, y'all see the lump? Y'all see it? It's there. I'm growing it. But this one, I can't squeeze. So, it, it'll get there. <laughs> but, um, I was gonna show y'all. So, I got this, and I've had it for a while, and I've never tried it out. Sorry, I got a constable, made a constable, a thing from child support, whatever, BS, just to get on, like, it's a long story, guys. Uh, anyways, so, I had received this in the PR package, and, um, it's the smallest innovative facial cleansing device. T Sonic Cleansing Silicone Design up to 100 uses, and then it has it in French, um, and it's the Luna Play, and I really 
I guess the reason I haven't wanted to try it is because pink is one of my favorite colors besides purple being my all-time favorite color. And I haven't even opened it or anything. So I was like, why not do a review on this little bad boy and do like a night routine on what I do at night, how I take, you know, um, take off my makeup, and we're going to try this. I got um, the simple dual effect. As you can tell, it's separated right now. Just the oils are separated. But this stuff is like a dream. It removes makeup like magic. And um, I also have a cleanser. And I think I'm going to do one of my new masks. So leave in the comment. I'm going to show you the mask that I have. I just turned my straightener on. I don't want it to burn me. Is it so hot? Just a little bit. I mean, it's hot, but I don't want it to like burn or melt anything. I'm just gonna put it on the floor. Upright, not we're laying down. So I got these masks. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? I think we should see other people. Um, so I have the Perlis or Perless masks, and where's my other ones? Um, I have this one, and there's no, hold on, let me go get the other ones real quick. Okay, so these are just a couple of the masks that I haven't used. I haven't used this one um, because it says for acne, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, it says, if any discomfort, stop using it. Apply a generous amount of the mud mask to face, sleep for 10 minutes, then rinse with water. So this one isn't a pill-off mask. This one is a pill-off mask. It's an anti-wrinkling and firming mask. And then I have these two. So let me know in the comments below which one y'all want me to use. And I will do my whole night routine using this and seeing how good this is with my cleansers and... Um, my face wash and then we'll apply a mask and y'all leave a comment and tell me either hashtag yes to or the beauty 360 or the perless I'm believing one's coconut and rice and the other one is green tea and ginger so it really doesn't matter whichever one and just hashtag them in the comments below which one you want me to try. And I will do a night routine on what I do every night before I go to sleep. So if that's something that y'all want to see, also give this video a thumbs up. And I gotta say, if you're looking for a good, not too expensive, the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation was with taxes and everything $42 so I feel it is a good buy make sure you do get somebody to help you with your color match or you can do swatches they have little tables at Ulta or Sephora where you can do swatches and then wipe them off they have a little stain where you can do it um, but it's definitely worth your dollar um, and that's why I'm so glad that I did a second review on it because now I know my mistake. Like, look, you can barely even see my fine lines on my forehead. And I've only had to set my face one more time. Um, when we got home, um, like around 2, so it's about 7, so... Um, 
yeah and then y'all will see like the final final result whenever i start doing the cleansing and the mask and everything so again do hashtag her less hashtag beauty 360 or to the yes to tomato clear skin and i just haven't treated it it says acne treatment but i feel like you know it's a mud mask it says tomatoes and charcoal to help clear up acne but i feel like you know i have a blemish so that counts right i mean hopefully it doesn't give me acne i don't know but y'all let me know down in the comments which one you know want me to do and again, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to your girl and join the fam squad. Um, and also, if you still gotta think about it just for a little bit, you can click on my picture and you're automatically subscribed to the fam squad. And if you want to turn your notifications on, to when every time I upload, do giveaways, shout outs, anything like that, um, you will be the first one to know and receive the notification and make sure you give this video a huge 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 thumbs up and thank y'all for watching and also shout out for the day goes to anita style and it's your boy trilla so thank y'all for being a part of the fam squad I love y'all, and just being a part of the fam squad is so important to me, so regardless, I hope y'all do watch this and see this, and leave a comment down below if you would like to, um, but thank you for subscribing, like I said, anytime I see a new subscriber, I freak out. <laughs> um, and I still have my goal of a thousand subscribers. I did add it up and I still have a month left, guys. So, I know I look a little dewy because it is a little hot in my room. For some reason, the AC is, like, not working right right now. So, I gotta go fix that. But, I will see y'all tonight in my next little vlog review type of get ready with me at night. So, I will see y'all later. Peace.